<laughs> well, this is Ellie. She's a little two-year-old draft cross horse that came in well, kind of late in the winter for some gentling and a little training. We saddled her a few times. I think we did ground driving and stuff like that. Come in here. Come in here. All the way around. She should. There. And there. Good. I haven't worked with her for four or five months, I guess. There you go. Green. Go ahead and send this hip away. Good. Good. Chin. Good. Now back up a little. Good. A little softer than that. A few months off, and she was only here for, I think, a month. Here's Jambo. Ready? Good. Go right to saddle, and then see how she takes for that saddle. What you do is ask her to back herself away. Tuck her nose. Good. Back up. So we get here. Yeah, she, what she's thinking about there. Suddenly that confused state of consciousness comes in there, see? And this is why I advise everybody, if you're going to get in the start yourself a colt or a horse, back, back them away. I'm not doing anything here, and that saddle is not tight. And we just have to back her around and around the pen here, so we know she knows how to back up. There's just something kind of different about the psychology here of having something on her back and having to try to back up at the same time. It's okay. It's okay. See, she has to try to get her mind to focus and engage. There. I'm not, I'm not pushing hard on her. I'm just putting steady pressure on her nose. When she sags, I, I'm actually... My hands breathe up there, see? Yeah. How am I supposed to do this? I'll just get your feet. There you go. How am I supposed to do this? Well, engage your brain and move your feet. Move that. Good. There. What did that feel like? I'll give her a little break there because she tried. So you see? Try it again. There. Did that work? Huh? Move your hip around. Tuck your nose. Back yourself up. Good. Back up. There you go. See, I'm not pulling hard on her. There. That work better? Huh? Did that work better for you? Swing your hip. Put your shoulders around. Good. Good. Good girl. Follow your nose. Good girl. Good. There you go. Good. That's the first time anybody's ever been on her back right there. It seems like she's pretty gentle. Kind of sit here, but there. That's a little uneasy. Good girl. Good girl. Good. She just wants to take baby steps like that. I'll let her. Good girl. Good. Good girl. 
be a little motion up here. I always want to be looking where I want her to go. So on her first ride here, see, she's already feeling me bending her to the left a little and looking a little to the left. And when I'm ready, I'll just look to the right, bend her to the right. Good. There. I'll let her kind of feel that happening to her. service up in front of her, for 30 days into her, just getting her gentle, messing around with her, and here, I'll leave up here, and, and she's just been acting real gentle here today, compliant, good girl, I just want her to have a real good experience here. She did all of the little groundwork stuff we asked her to do. Trying to follow her nose here, pretty soft and easy. Come back to your right here. Let's see if I can't get her to turn back to my left just by turning my body here. Maybe bump with the hand a little if I have to. She doesn't have to do anything other than walk right now. Make sure I can steer her a little bit before I ask for anything extra. Look off to my left here. There you go. Let's see if she can go ahead and trot off a little bit. Good girl. Good. Before she gets. Good. Good. Sit and then go ahead and turn yourself back. And walk out. Hit girl. Hit. Good trot off. Come on. Come on. Come on. So I can get a couple laps out of her. Thank you. 